Wow, this screen is so pretty. I could probably stare into it for months on end. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys. Captain Boomerang here for Let's Play Jack 2 Part 26. In the last part, we busted our friends out of jail, and then I proceeded to bust myself out of life for quite some time, or at least making videos. And though I'm not one for long-winded introductions, I do feel I owe some sort of explanation, so how about, uh... A compromise. So, uh, insert list of obligatory explanations slash excuses here. Alright, we're good. Um, so, moving on, we're going to continue on with our normal missions and stuff, and it should be a lot of fun this part, so let's get it on bing -a gong as I say. Oops. Great, a zoomer. So the first mission we're going to be taking on today is going to be located at the Underground Headquarters, where we get to take a mission from two Samos the Sages. Yes, you heard right. Twice the old man, double the sass, two times the ointment. The area secure. Wow, seriously? Alright guys, so here we are at the underground headquarters. I'm on my hoverboard because there were some uh, unfortunate incidents getting here. Here's a cutscene. I really quite like it. Hope you enjoy as well. Ignore that. Sorry, I'm a little bit rusty to the whole program. But here we go. The Baron is still up to his old tricks. The Underground got word that several Crimson Blast Bots are zeroing in on the hideout here. They're armored bombs which seek out targets. If any of those Blast Bots reach this place, we're dead. Ah, what are you worried about, old man? You're almost dead anyway. Well, if you'd taken better care of yourself, I wouldn't be in the state I am now. Take out those Blast Bots before they reach the hideout, Jack. They have proximity defenses, so do be careful. Good hunting! Ah, uh, I do love myself a good, hilariously awkward cutscene. But in all seriousness, I like the two Samos dynamic a lot. I mean, I think it shows how much we change over time, yet how much we stay the same, you know? Or some stupid psychological nonsense like that. Moving on to the actual mission, we've got a pretty difficult one. Those blast bots that the sages were talking about are not a joke, so they shouldn't be taken lightly. Now, a couple of things you want to keep in mind for this mission. The first is that certain blast bots are closer to the hideout than other ones, so you're going to want to take out the ones that are closer first, obviously. So just follow my lead, and we're going to take them out in this super simple order. The first one you're going to want to see is right around this bend. I like to crash the car into it. I don't know if it actually does more damage, but I like to think it does. And then, when you get up on the blast bots, in order to take them out, you're going to want to stay as close to them as possible. So, uh, you got a couple options on how you want to do this. You can punch and then use your Wastelander move, like that. Oh, alright, cool. So when you hear the beeping noise, obviously it means it's about to explode. That's what every beeping noise in the world means ever. I'm sure that'll be helpful in some other, other context in this game. But, um... Alright, so now we've got our second blast bot, which is right around the corner here. So the ones in the industrial section are really close. You have to go to these first, pretty much. Now, uh, also while playing this mission multiple times uh, to practice it, I've noticed that the um, the uh, motion sensing turbo cannon that comes around the guard that, that comes around the bend there is oftentimes sprouting up, so it can be a little bit problematic. So what you're going to want to do if the cannon does pop up is hide behind the robot and actually use the cannon to get some free hits in on it. So, uh, there's a tip. <laughs> uh, this mission is kind of hard for me to give general tips for, mostly because it's so straightforward. Really, it's just find the robot and shoot it to death. But, I'll do my best. Uh, alright, so the last one is coming right around this bend here. Perfect. Alright, so we're doing relatively well with this mission. Um, I think I've hit every point that I wanted to make. It is interesting as a mission in the fact that it's timed even though... Oops, daisies. It's timed even though there is no timer, essentially. Oh, God. See, those are the cannons I was talking about. All right, cool. Let's just leave so we can get the okay. Oh, what? Okay. Well, um, I think we got away with it. Let's check. Oh, the area is secure. We got away with it. Awesome, which means we can move on to the next mission. So what I was doing there was actually a little trick. I might as well show this off because I can't ever remember to tell you guys about it. Uh, if you press the forward analog stick into a wall, come on, work with me, Jack. All right, 
Jack will go into this, and this is sort of a pseudo hiding mode. If you're not in the sight of a Crimson Guard already, when you're under high alert, if you push against the wall and do this, uh, eventually the high alert will cool off a lot faster than usual, because they won't be able to see you. It's it actually creates some rather funny situations, but that's about all there is to that. Uh, Alright, so, now we're going to move on to one of my least favorite missions in the game, honestly, but it starts at Crew's Place, so we're going to, I'll meet you guys in the underground port, no, not the underground port, the port section of the city. Alright guys, we are in the port section of the city, and we are right at the uh, Hip Hog Kevin Saloon, so, enjoy a pretty interesting and fun cutscene. Actually, kill me please. Thank you. Gotta refill that life meter. You know how it is. Now we can see a really interesting and funny cutscene. You boys are all right. And since the boss is out of it right now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I've been cruise heavy for years, and I've done some things I'm not proud of. But this time, I think Cruz gotten himself and us into something really nasty. I'm thinking of getting out. Oh, Sig's beginning to like us, Jack. Come here, you big lug. Hots for everyone. Knock it off. I think Cruz trying to. <laughs> Relax. Watch me butter up Bun Boy. Hey there, stuffed crust. How's it feel floating on top of the food chain? Oh, Meister. Have you been exercising? You're looking good. You are definitely mm, living large. Mm -hmm. And those legs, they're so uh, chiseled. I need you to escort three of my boys down into the sewers and visit that statue again. I've heard that Mars cheeky face might contain another secret, and I want you to see if the stories are true, eh? Make sure all three of my boys get to that statue, and they'll do all the rest, hmm? His boys. I'll stop. <laughs> um, stupid references aside, that was a really interesting and cool cutscene, in my opinion, just because we get to see a little bit of character development for Sig. Uh, mostly because he's just depicted as this really cool, tough guy for, immerse, for most of the game. But here we kind of see him, I don't know, just starting to have a bit of a conscience and question whether what he's doing is the right thing, which I really appreciate about uh, his character. And if you play Jack 3, you probably are going to learn a lot more about Sig, and he's really, really cool. But uh, that's all about I have to say about that. That, and also you can see that he knows something that he doesn't generally, uh, well, that he wasn't letting on because Crew was obviously there and he didn't want to get busted, but also, really cool story, it's developing quite a bit, I like it. Um, so what I'm doing here is a little trick to get, a, um, to get ammo. Uh, I recommend you do it for this next mission because, oh boy, is it stupid. So, uh, with this, I think this is fine for what we have to do. Uh, I'll meet you guys at the sewer section of the city, or I guess beneath the section of the city. See you guys there in a bit. Alright guys, so here we are at the sewers like I promised. Oh boy. Yeah, and I gotta say, this next mission coming up I really hate. Why? Here comes pretty boy. Why? This guy. Meet Jinx, Mog, and some guy I don't really know. We're gonna escort through them through the sewers and About it's gonna time suck. You showed up. Okay. I hate him so much. Crew said you'll protect us all the way to the statue. Crew says a lot of things, Jinx. <gasps> How'd you even shoot me from down there? That was actually an a that was actually an accident, but I kind of like it. We go down. Uh, we have okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hit him off of the platform and he fell down. Then somehow he managed to come back up and shoot me. That's honestly annoying. Alright, so, oopsie daisies. <laughs> These metal heads are called hose heads. I hopefully we can survive the rest of the mission because this is supposed to be the easy part. These metal heads are called hose heads. They're named this for their characteristic hoses that shoot lasers. Um, they're relatively cool in terms of design, but the thing you want to keep in mind is that they're really good at long ranged combat because of their lasers, but not so awesome at melee, even though that one just stabbed me in the face. <laughs> um, so you're just going to want to roll up on them as quickly as possible and then use a wasteland in them. Relatively simple stuff. Oops. Can't have Jinx fighting anything because he is weak as crap. 
Okay, cool. So, for what Jinx is about to do here, this explosion, uh, I should mention that there is a skip that you can do for this. I'm not gonna do it. I can't because of health reasons, but during that explosion, if you roll forward and uh, kill the metalheads up ahead fast enough, the ones behind you will not res will not spawn. So, uh, saves a bit of time. It's kind of interesting glitch. I've never really been... I pulled it off once, I think, but I'm very bad at it. Alright, cool. I mean, it doesn't save that much time. Thank you, Mog. Oh, screw you, Jinx. Alright. <laughs> um, so the next part of the mission is relatively straightforward as well. Uh, something I should mention is you don't want to go too far ahead, because then you lose the mission for some reason. So if you try to carve out a path ahead and kill all the metalheads ahead of time, don't do it. It's not a great strategy, even though common convention says it would be. Alright, so for this next part, you're going to want to actually go as far ahead. Not following my own advice here. And you're going to want to kill the metalheads up here. And when they die, hop on your hoverboard and head back because there are some spawning right behind you. Ooh, okay, I got one, that, that one just in time. Alright, cool. Oh, let's look. Jinx is beginning to like us. We've earned the respect of Jinx. Anyways, at least I'm not named after one of the ugliest Pokemon ever invented. Alright, here we go. Alright, so when you shoot the hose heads, they're not going to shoot anymore. So that's pretty much the strategy you want to go for. Okay, so, uh, this part is hard as balls, and I hate it. So, you're gonna notice that we have some metalheads, um, coming along here, shooting these lasers. And it's very difficult to get past them, so what I recommend doing is this. Right. Perfect. And because they're bad at melee attacks, you can take them out like that. I mean, it's a pretty interesting method. I I recommend using that. Trying to hop over the wires of electricity, or I guess lasers, is an option, but I'm not good at it. So, <laughs> that's why I didn't do it. Alright, so now we have the part of the mission that everyone remembers. Which is an ambush. Ooh, spoilers. the ceiling's crawling. Metalheads everywhere. It's a trap. I know metalheads are smart enough to form traps. All right, so with this, you're just gonna want to use the spin move as much as possible. They can, in fact, fall behind you, so you're gonna want to stay super cautious. Um, I'm honestly really scared right now because I don't have uh, not nearly as much health as I'd like to have for this type of thing, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we've gotten to the point where most of them are spawning. Um down below, which is what you want. You can use Dark Jack for this if you have him. Uh, he's sort of semi-helpful, but because they keep respawning, uh, it's only kind of sort of a little bit helpful sometimes, maybe. So I recommend just using your classic spin kick move because it works. Also, the pea shooter, as you might have guessed, is wonderfully helpful. Wow. Well, I mean, that was a hellhole, but I survived somehow, so awesome. <laughs> yep, let's finish it, Jinx. You wonderful asshole. Jinx is actually a mechanical genius. He's just an asshole, so I don't like him. <laughs> uh, this makes me sad. But enjoy a nice cutscene. Pretty statue. Stand back. We're professionals. All right, boys, let's blow this sucker sky high. Wait. Who told you to go? There's what we're looking for. The heart of my gym. Thanks for the escort, buddy. We'll take it back to crew. Dude, screw them seriously. But ah, uh, with that. What's the gun upgrade? What could we possibly be receiving? Why am I asking you all these questions? Find out next time in the next part because we're out of time. 
But, uh, yeah, I really do enjoy that cutscene. It shows that Jack actually cares about, uh, I guess, Mar for some reason, which is really cool. Um, I'll talk more about it later. We really need to be start stopping this part and then starting a new one. See you guys at the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm messing this outro up. See you guys next time. Bye. Quiet. Here comes Pretty Boy. About time you watch it. Oh. Oh.